Hey up, me odes. It is Rowie here. It is Wednesday night. It is still, because this is my second video of the evening, as my last video was. A slight disappointment, but only in the way that it was a disappointment to me. Um, it wasn't what I thought or what I hoped it was going to be. It was way too West Coasty. If you've been watching the channel for a little while, Christ, I can only assume there must be something wrong with you, but thank you. Um, but um, if you've watched the channel for a while, you will know that I am not a fan of West Coast IPAs in the slightest. And it was just that little bit too West Coasty for me. So uh, I'm still going to, I still love the brewery. I'm still going to be buying all the things that they come out, but I'm probably going to be avoiding their double IPAs um, in bottles for a little while. Well, which is quite fortunate because they don't release a huge amount. But um until I've either seen someone else have it or I can be reassured it's not some West Coast arse. Uh, so I have had this one already. Uh, it is a collaboration between Verdant. Well, first of all, it's Bruiser's Project X, which I believe is there um, as close to a Christmas box as Bruiser are doing. Bruiser are a subscription service. Um, I have mentioned them a few times as of late. Please believe me, I am not sponsored by them or getting anything from them whatsoever. I personally don't, I don't subscribe to Bruiser either. Um, I, they just happen to have come up a, a few times. Uh, this is one that they did for their, part of their Christmas box, it's six beers. It's a collaboration between Verdant, who obviously, uh, I wanna say Falmouth, but I think it's Penryn now, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is, it's Penryn. Uh, yeah, and then uh, Flock in Canterbury and uh, The Craft Diaries, which I probably should have looked up who they are, but I know they've done the art, so big apologies for that. And this is Casting the Void. It is a double IPA, 8.4%. It is a mosaic nectar bleh, nectaron and uh, ruwaka um, IP, double IPA. So uh, yeah, we should be expecting big hoppy juiciness here, a uh, little bit of bitterness. Just describing what IPAs I like, Carl. Do you know what I mean? That's all this is now. It's just me. And then when I talk about me describing them, I just describe me describing them. It is, it's tragic, isn't it? You wouldn't see this on uh, other people's channels. They wouldn't, they wouldn't do that, would they? Well, they wouldn't do that on this anyway, like some people, because uh, you can't buy it from Tesco's. <laughs> Obviously, that is uh, the Rowie zero supermarket beer promise on the channel no shelf turds again no shade to supermarket beers they're just not my cup of tea and um yeah i won't be putting them on the channel so i might do a video on why i won't be putting them in the channel i don't know if that would be of any interest to anybody let me know in the comments if you'd like to it's not my views on it you know i'd be lying if i said i'd never bought a uh a beer from the supermarket. What is it? Vocation Love and Hate? Vocation Love and Hate. Great beer. Uh, Northern Monk Heathen. That's available in the supermarket now. That used to be my favourite beer that was uh, readily available. And But yeah, if you, want, if you want to get a video on something like that, let me know in the comments and we'll see what we can get. So, I'll tell you what, instantly, that's more like what, you know, that's what, the, you know, that's what this guy wants. Oh, I haven't done the bloody big weir with the bloody big lad in like two videos now. Christ, what a, what a, rubbish catchphrase that was that never took off but yeah let's have a little sniff oh that smells so good i mean it's a, not really fair because i was drinking this at the tap room the other night um i don't really want to record too because i think my battery's going to run out anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a sniff and i'm going to talk about how it's piney juicy resinous dank yada 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 and then i'm going to go back to you know eating chicken wings and uh, rocking out to meatloaf Meatloaf's badass, but yeah, it's almost like a, like a real sort of uh, corn sort of smell to it. Do you know, like popcorn, but bef like right after, once you've, once you've just made popcorn, like not like salted or sweet popcorn, do you know when you just, uh, I don't know how many people have made popcorn, I used to make popcorn when I used to work in, uh, as part of one of the snacks where I used to work, but um, yeah, it's got that sort of a uh, freshly popped corn type smell. It's verdant, so we can expect a sort of, uh, I'm just gonna get a bloody drunk, do you know what I mean? Like... There we go. It, it's just, that's what I wanted the last one to be like so much it's dank definitely piney a little bit of grapefruit 
lime zest there as well. And yeah, with it being a verdant, it does have that slightly distinct verdant, oniony, alliumy twang, just going all the way through. Just an absolutely belter, absolute belter of a beer. I bought that from the, um, I did get that from the tap room. It's probably better on draft, but then at the same time, when I had it on draft, you know, it's all the other things that come with it. You know, I was actually at Verdant. There was a sweet DJ playing. There was some dude making badass looking pizzas. The staff were all absolutely fantastic. If you're ever down that way, definitely head over to Verdant. I mean, if you're into beers and you're into and you're in sort of Falmouth, sort of Penryn area, anyway, I find it hard to believe why you wouldn't go to Verdant on a day that it was open. But yeah, that is, now that's what I call a bloody quality double IPA. The sort of um, the corn sort of popcorn smell on the nose is definitely not there at all in the uh, in the beer. Surprisingly wheaty, not like um, to like a Belgian level, but yeah, there's definitely a, a wheatiness to it as well. Well, oh, it's just soft, smooth, delicious, creamy. It's just an absolute joy to drink. Oh, and just like that, the world is put back to rights. Oh, I can go back to my usual spout in massively, but even though the last re the review of the Colonel Beer, I don't think wasn't positive. Um, it just wasn't a beer for me. I don't think I actively, pardon me, spoke ill of the beer because I don't want to do that. I don't want to like, I don't want to shit on breweries, you know, that are having a hard enough time as it is. Not that I think for one second I have enough reach that my opinion means, you know, diddly dick to anybody watching this but yeah thank you for watching super appreciated um if you've watched both videos tonight then you're an absolute bloody hero sorry i just need to be here for another second while i just get the older for, for the for the instas just the older just an excuse to get a little slurp in there actually so yeah i'm gonna head off now so yeah thank you very much indeed for watching super appreciated uh yeah uh cast in the void verdant double ipa I, really, I don't really score beers on the thing, do I? I don't like saying, oh, that's an 8 out of 10 or that's a 9 out of 10, do I? I never really do that. Uh, I don't see any reason to start now, to be honest with you. Or do I do it all the time? I can't remember. I don't know. Maybe I do do it all the time. I've no I've no pissing idea. There's no quality There's no quality control or continuity on this channel, is there? My word. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Subscribe as well. I probably should have said that at the very beginning. Yeah, subscribe to me. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah.